Wonderland Eurasia, also known as Anchor Park, is the largest theme park in Europe and the second largest in the world. Sitting in the middle of the capital of Turkey, the $750 million park sits completely abandoned with every attraction, every gift, as well as all of the food completely deserted. Construction started in 2013 on Ataturk's forest farm in Zooland and halted several times until 2019 when the park finally decided it was time to open up. Sadly, a lack of attendance and financial struggles caused the theme park to close its doors for good only 11 months after the grand opening. The park is now a wasteland filled with dinosaurs everywhere and eight security guards. This is our journey to the largest abandoned theme park in the world. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. Alright, good morning. So, today we are doing an insane explore. And we mean insane. <laughs> you ready for this, bro? There is no other way. I gotta be ready for this. <laughs> I think this gotta be the most insane exploration that I ever did in Europe. This is nuts. I mean, it's insane. So, we are heading to an abandoned amusement park. And not only is this just any abandoned amusement park, this is the largest amusement park in Europe. We went around yesterday, there is about seven security guards that we saw. <laughs> and uh, there could be more, we don't even know. I mean the difficulty of it is already a factor why not many people would actually try it. It's almost an impossible task. Yeah. But we spent almost the entire half of the day yesterday just observing and making a plan like how would we have the biggest chance simply not to get caught and still see it with our own eyes without buying an entry ticket yep <laughs> that's basically it we actually ran into a security guard we were walking around the pretty much the parking lot of this amusement park and the security guard came up with to us and he was extremely nice he brought us into his little shack fed us nuts just talked to us and he was just super super cool <laughs> but he said he could not let us in because the only people allowed into this amusement park is the mayor and the president of Turkey, which is crazy. He also said that there's predators inside, like dogs, wild dogs, and they're actually scared to go in by foot. So 
They may do some type of rounds, but it also is supposed to rain today, so that could be in our favor. A lot of these rides are actually indoors. We are getting ready. It is 4.30 in the morning, and we're gonna head over there. We're gonna get in. We're gonna explore the craziest abandoned place probably in the world right now that we know of. Yeah, I mean, definitely in Europe, I'm sure. This place is top notch. I'm quite nervous, but we're gonna get it. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna get it and we're gonna get in and it's gonna be insane. Like me, I'm just a dude from <laughs> little small town Oklahoma coming out to Turkey doing these crazy things. And my guy right here coming all the way from Netherlands. Netherlands, right here. <laughs> this is in fact really crazy like you mentioned. <laughs> but like crazy also in terms of, I don't know, stupid, asking for trouble, <laughs> I don't know. But fingers crossed and yeah, let's hope luck is on our side. Also, we do, uh, judging by how nice everybody's been, we ran into two security guards yesterday actually, and both of them seem pretty nice. We so, just do not know about the law. Yeah, we don't really know much about the law here, but judging off of security guards, there is a possibility that if we did get caught somehow, we that could, like, we talk could way talk way. our way out of it. Basically, them just make us leave or maybe even paying them a little bit of money for us to be able to finish or just let us go, you know? So, we are going to head there. We're getting ready right now and... Yeah, see you guys in the park.
so we've just made a way. No course. way. Indoor attraction. Are we starting out big? I can't even believe how easy this went. Guys, this is crazy. It's not a huge dome. This is a very promising start. Bro, I was not expecting this. Me neither. I thought it was some kind of storage or maybe mechanic or something. Here, the guy was control. All the controls yes. the roller coaster. Control panel. Guys, I don't know the level that I can talk on, but this is insane. There are seven security guards here. We don't know exactly where everyone is. We don't know if there's another one in the park. So we had to whisper and just keep our voices low, but we are inside one of the buildings and this is insane. Like, how can this shut down? This is the second largest amusement park in the world, and half of it is indoors, and it's just left here abandoned. This is such a surreal experience. Under this cave right here to this other ride. Uh, did this one like made you dizzy? Yeah. This is like they spin you around as like a whole thing spin. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a gimbal. Yeah. But a ride. And you can see it's decaying right there. It's getting ripped. There's like a space team here. Yeah. The astronauts. Like Star Trek. This, this is that first roller coaster, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first roller coaster. It just goes around this entire thing. I think over there you have like a simulator. Maybe that you were in space or something that was moving around and you saw a video. Yeah. We need to, we need to climb up there. Yeah. Here you go this way. 
do this tsunami restaurant roller coaster looping coaster airborne shot is probably that one simulator yeah it's probably the simulator but the midi guns i think there was also a lot of interaction in the door you saw that one there oh yeah now i don't know if you can see that up there but there's a giant dragon up there just sitting up at the top Oh yeah, there's a ton of dust in here. Yeah. Yeah, so this was the Max Flight, so it was like a flight simulator. Yeah, exactly. The flight simulator. accurate and our research as well and that those cameras are not active. I hope so. Otherwise we've already been seen 20 times. <laughs> but nobody's come yet. No. Nah. They would already be here. This was like a sniper game. You could shoot and you could win prizes with it. It's like a little, uh, what do you call it, like a vending? Yeah, Talk over here you have the actual guns, bro. Oh, so your prizes were actually here. Yeah, those are the, After the, the snipers that we shoot with. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Our it's voices really echo so much in here. Because it's all like it's all round closed. and it's echoing all around. Yeah. There's no like sound to keep our our, our sounds enclosed either. Yeah, so it all stays inside. What is this guy? There's so much just in this building alone, and we have so many more buildings to see. I can't believe it, man. That is insane. Oh my god, dude. So let's go up the roller coaster. Splash right. Oh, there it is a water park in here. Watch your step in. Same, bro. 
I can't believe it, man. I feel like a happy child walking in the candy store. <laughs> Let's go down. <laughs> what the heck? Still full of all the toys and stuff. We're going up to the restaurant. Yeah, so this was the tsunami restaurant. where the boost would have been. Guys, I'm not talking a whole lot just because it's really sketchy to even be in here. But we're going to keep walking through. See if we can find because this place is already insane. We're just in one building. There's so many more. No way, bro. There's a giant dragon here. What is it made from? Wood? Maybe. Yeah, it's wood. Something like that. Plastic? I think it's clumsy. It? Yeah, maybe plastic. Fiberglass. Fiberglass, probably. Yeah. Because it's hollow. Yeah. Do six of them go on stretches like this? Oh, wait, yeah. Those were the bumping cars, not the go-karts. Yeah, the bumper cars. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. This is giving me, like, Chernobyl vibes. Chernobyl vibes. This is... They're all still pristinely standing here. <laughs> like, it's shut down from the one day to the other. Wow. So this reminds me of, like, a Six Flags, but less, like, no no graffiti, no vandalism. There is some vandalism here. Talking about vandalism. Vandalism right there. Could be. But very minor stuff. So vandalism. People that are, yeah, couldn't walk properly up those stairs. And everything is fine. Look at this anchor just sitting here. Yeah. There's the Ferrari symbol. Mercedes up there. giant diving helmet. I wonder if there was some sort of aquarium at this place. Dalchik Market. So, must have been some kind of market for diving or just souvenirs for this type of stuff. This is a, uh, so you have one person on each side, and it probably does a whole bunch of like spins and flips and everything. 
It's one of those make you really dizzy rides. We got two of them. And then right over here. So this would spin, yeah. and that would swing back and forth. Make you really dizzy, yeah. to ride. It would definitely make you dizzy. I don't think it could do full flips, but it would definitely well, it might be able to. I think it's raining. Yeah, you felt it's like a. I think it's raining. No, I think I just I don't just hear it. The the drops of rain falling on the on the roof. roof. You can hear yeah. it kind of pouring. Okay. That's good for us. That's good for us. Yeah. Well, look at this shooter game. Another shooting reach. This one's got a whole machine gun. And you would shoot at this. We got to find a chest with gold inside. <laughs> no. Bro, I mean, I've got so many times I fight like a chest inside an abandoned building and then it's just filled with sheets or nothing and I'm like we're waiting until the day there is some gold inside that's mm -hmm. something Raymond often says and now we got one here it is this is it guys we're in Turkey <laughs> <laughs> oh and another one Ooh, we can share we both get one yeah we both get one <laughs> one each <laughs> that's something we're having loads of fun now like I said this is so surreal so surreal. Hit another shooting game. The people that I stopped realizing for an instant we are still surrounded by seven security guards. Or more. Or more. We just know that we just saw seven. There we only know more. the outside. They also can be indoors. We don't know. This is like ice themed. But the ride doesn't look ice themed. It's another one that spins. So, where you sit will flip, and then the whole thing will spin upside down. This is insane. This is insane. What is this? Oh my. T-Rex. Oh my god. Bro. What the heck? No way. <laughs> I was never expecting this to be here. Dude. I mean, it's fake, but still, it's so impressive. It's humongous in size. That's at least 40 feet tall. Yeah. That's huge. Wow. I've got no other words. We also got... The punching... <laughs> the punching games. These are real popular. I was talking about go-karts. You see that everything has an arctic key? What's this aware? It's another flight simulator? Mm -hmm. Another Max flight simulator. It's like all desert themed in here. Cactus. Like sand. I've actually never seen a go-kart track this big.
still still untouched. don't know what this is. It spins around really, really, really fast. Okay. And it gets you stuck to the walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. So literally, you're like, stuck. Yeah. There's the next one next door. This is like an ice thing. Yeah, everything is like RTT in this world. The food is for this one. Seems a little bit more. This is the cinema. This is the 5D cinema. I think so. Should be right. Yeah, cinema. I think it was never finished. It was still constructing it. It was never finished. It smells like new, new. Like yeah. construction side, you know? Yeah. I think this used to become like a little like the cinema. The sound must be really hollow air and realistic to your ears as well. Yeah, see, look, zero gravity. We've seen about a hundred. I think we've seen about a hundred cameras, and none of them work. It's so weird. It's ridiculous that they were not doing well. Oh, that was one. This thing is huge. We're just in one building still. Yeah, this is only one thing we want. This is insane. This dragon is nuts. Yeah, it looks really nuts. It's so realistic as well. Whoa. That's insane. I've never seen a music park like this. Never in my life. This is crazy. Never in my life. It's only the first building. The f yes, the first building. Just the first building. And there's probably more in here. I can't believe it. You gotta be kidding me. Is this still filled with burn energy? It's locked, but it's got water, actually. What the heck? The water bottles are still inside. Can I lock it? Dang. <laughs> I the ice cream. No way. It's all still in there. No way. All molded. Yeah, it's locked as well, but there are like mechanisms and all completely moldy inside. It's all moldy. I just straight up forgot about all of this. Yeah. It's because of the fact 
it's only the president and the mayor of the city mm -hmm. who's allowed to enter. That's right. It's really strict and probably nobody or hardly any people are as crazy as we are to just mm. risk all those security busts. There's a fresh coke in there. If you can get a spider up there. Can you see the expiry date? Yeah, it's, it's on the bottom. Here. Or July 27, 2019. Yeah. Massage chairs. Like the glass bulb, and who's telling and saying what your future is? Oh, it's like, like a, it's like a Zoltar. 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 Like a woman version. Zoltar. What the heck, bro? Are not gonna get caught today. That's what I. Yeah, that's what she says. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna get caught. That's what Salter. she says. We're not gonna get caught, right? Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I, I cannot believe we are here. I cannot believe it. I am beyond, like, I don't know, like, my, my nerves are racking so bad. But I love this. You see that over there is a stage part I saw on maps, and that's the next thing we will look also at the decoration of those. There's a little shed there, but I think it's from a ride. Just hope there's no security guard in there. It was raining a lot. I don't over there. You can see the skyline of the city, and just in front of it, this beautiful giant Ferris wheel. This was like a stage where they were probably the performances. Where they served ice cream. I think this was bumper boats. Hmm? That area, this was bumper boats. You see those bumper boats way down there? Where? Like at the very end of the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a giant lake where you could be with the boats. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go to that one. Get in that building. But this is going to be a dodgy cross. So, I don't know. Do we just keep walking in one straight line, okay? Maybe not run because if we're too fast. They might spot something. More likely just to be seen if we go too fast. Yeah, just walk in one line. We need to try to go in through here. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's that easy. I hope so too. saw us and then I think we should be fine. Alright, so we're trying to find a way into this building right here, but we have to go back outside and go around. So, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep, can, let's continue to explore this place. This is by far the best place that we have on the channel right now. So let's see if we can find a way into this one.
connection between them. There should be a third one as well. But that one is close to the security. Let's see if we can maybe handle this one from this side. See, that's the other one. So we are the second one. That's the other one. After that is security. Insane roller coaster. We're right outside the dinosaur park. I mean, this feels like Disney World. This is like the next Nora Dreamland. I'm sorry, sir. I do not speak. I do not speak Turkish. I don't understand. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we're in the dinosaur dinosaur area now. dinosaur section of this entire theme park all dedicated to dinosaurs this looks so cool it's all family We got Bam Bam. I haven't watched Fred. I haven't watched the Flintstones in a while, so I don't remember all the characters. That's mostly just Fred. This is all. This is all Flintstones themed. Most incredible abandoned location I have ever seen. There is nothing in the world like this. Oh look, we have another ladies old time. Dining or something. Oh my god, look at the ceiling. It's got pterodactyls. That's insane. So 
And we've got the Dino Burger. We've got this. I thought this was graffiti for a second, but it's pizza. <laughs> that would be delicious graffiti. The first time I like graffiti in a band of... That is a pizza right there. So these must have been just some areas to get yeah, those concessions. Yeah, those would like all food stands. Yeah, yeah food stands. And then you would eat down here. So this was like a, uh, like a food court area of this. And we have more Flintstones. So many Flintstones. Oh yeah. Now they got a connection with the Stone Age. Definitely. Tree camera sticks to each other. No, yeah, tree. What the heck? Dang, they have cameras every look, there's a camera over there too. Over there. There's three right there. So we're just trying to navigate through this place. It's so big. We're trying to navigate on the map. But right now, we're in one side of the dinosaur part. So we're gonna head on to the middle, which is like the main attraction. So guys, we are in the dinosaur right now. So this is where they sell all the dinosaur merchandise. Oh dude, this is a map to the park. Back to the park. Oh, it's cool. I don't know, this is more like a children's puzzle of the dinosaurs, like a race. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Another vending machine with diamond stuff. This one's actually. Unlocked. Whoa. <laughs> stinks. Are you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Stinks. That smell was very bad. Look at the ceilings. Oh. A very bad smell coming from it. Maybe you're sitting there, definitely. I wonder what this thing is. Me neither. Maybe like a press to. Uh, or I think it used to be like a sign, you know? Yeah. There used to be a sign in between it. It's like we're walking, walking into a cave. Yeah. I mean, walking here, having the second largest tea party in the world, and the largest tea party in Europe, and entirely for yourself. Carter and I are the only people to be inside here, except seven security guards. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? shooting games. There's so much to see. Oh man. This is so cool. You can kind of see with his light. Or the galaxy type thing that they have going on. There's even the moon right there. through a jungle. Wow. Like, look at this, man. And there's just dinosaurs, like, just in there. It's hard to spot that without any lights, or Because it's so dark. They're all little dinosaurs in between. The archways we walk through, man, these are, like, so beautiful. beautiful. Here, yeah. my brides underneath all these flowers. <laughs> this would be a great place for a wedding, right here. Look 
like this. It's a jungle, man. Yeah. This is so surreal. Also, we're in the air. We spotted this. It's a pterodactyl just hanging. And then, of course, we got this guy. It looks like a T Rex, but I don't think it is. That size. I wonder if they let kids on this one because it has the thing. Oh, yeah. Or maybe that's not even supposed to be there. I don't know. Because there's no trails down here. This is quite our logic. I do also not see any way to get up there. Yeah, that as well. And not any parts that could possibly move or something. So maybe somebody just put that up there. Yeah. For the heck maybe. of it. Who knows? <laughs> There's some rides down there. It looks like dinosaur eggs. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's a little baby dinosaur at the top. We were curious if there was anything down beneath us, but there are a couple of rides. down here. Yo. Look at this ride. That is nuts. It's cool, right? So insane, dude. This is that dinosaur egg ride. Yeah, uh, how do you call a ride like this that's spinning around in English? What do you say, like a, a mill or something? Like a tilt a whirl? A tilt a whirl? Something like that, I'm not sure. What it does is those arms come out and you spin, but you're like basically on your side. Yeah, so it seems like you're flying in circles in the air. Mm -hmm. And over this way, we have another ride. And this one's like cats and turtles. No, it's mostly, no, it's cats. I'm dumb. That's just the tail of the cat. This is like a little kid's ride. Look at these two horses just over here. They're just kind of in these little stables. So I wonder what they're, if they're some sort of ride, or if you got on them just to like, take photos. But there's like a legit saddle here. They look so real, besides how shiny they are. And this must have been a restaurant. Yeah, it's like a cafe. This one's still in such good condition. I mean, all the furniture is still there. They already have money problems. They've got a lot of debts. It's Can't pay the power here. bills. Yeah. They could easily sell some of the stuff that's still here. They can make a lot of money selling this stuff. Yeah. It stinks over here. It stinks very much. I think it's just rotten fruits. Candy bars. to see everything properly. Two are not enough. <laughs> Luckily, we got each other. I know. Let's get a fresh banana. Everything 
There's so many fake trees and fake plants throughout this entire place. I mean, it's richly decorated to spark, and that's what makes it so beautiful. Mm -hmm. They paid attention to all the details. Everything. How could it end up like this? Look at this. The mixing battle. Oh, look at all the rotted food in there. That's so gross. Oh, man. I'm not gonna open it, but... That's three, three pounds. This is entirely molding away. Ew. What the heck? This is gross. You cannot even tell what it exactly was. Like cookies or something? Chocolate chip cookies? That looks like cookies right there. Yeah, it's probably the smell that you wear around. Uh, mm -hmm. The stinky smell. This ride right here, which is like a uh, airplane type of ride, like a hang glider. You have the motor on the back where you hold on. Personally, I would never hang glide. My grandpa actually hang, hang glided one time when he was about my age and he broke his leg, so would never do it. But there's just little things throughout this entire place and then like it's just, so cool to see everything. Oh, maybe this is not. This is not. So right now, we're like right here. Yeah. No, we're right here. Yeah, we're in the second dome of the dinosaur. This is the one we couldn't enter, unfortunately. So after this, we want to see the main entrance. And explore a little bit of the more like kids the rides. Kids rides yeah. yeah. All right, let's keep moving, man. Got this. We got this. <laughs> what do we find over here? This is some balls, some pigments. <laughs> Baby shark. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I think this is definitely a theater. What's this? Oh, maybe a ticket booth. Hmm. Actually, this is the entrance. Yeah. Look at this. Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. 
look like I'm walking under his tail right now. Bro, they put so much detail in these. Look at this. They even put the freaking butthole. And then here's some skeletons. These look actually, they, these might be real. Yeah, you might be right. These actually might be real fossils. Real dinosaur bones. If that's the truth, it would be a big shame if it's just neglected like this. It's worth a lot of money. So fine, well detailed. Where's the head? Lust. There's lights that go all the way around, so this would have been so lit up. And there's the middle of the dome. Right there. He's almost coming outside of the dome with his uh, head. <laughs> this one's massive, dude. Imagine these animals once lived. Can you imagine encountering an animal like this? In real life, I would be my dad. I would run away. I would be very fine with that. There is even a man of guys right away. Wow. Why don't I actually kill you? Man, a mammoth. Wow. staring into my soul. I'm back outside, guys. I think I'm ready to go from here. The main entrance is right there. I think the rain is a good advantage for us. Somehow the rain also adds up to the atmosphere of the abandons. It does. It does. It makes it cooler. This is insane. Look at that T-Rex. That is huge. Wow. And this is all like, there's all like, these giant claws coming out of the ground. The main entrance is beautiful. But this is the outside of the dinosaur pad, so you can see it's insane. But look at all this stuff. This is the best amusement park I've ever seen in my life. Working or abandoned. Do you see the gift shop? Yeah, there are gift shops and everything. But this would also be an ideal point for a security guard to have a spot, you know? This would be. It's a very central point in the entire park. So, I don't know. Maybe we can get it up close on this side, like the musk and the castle there. It would be nice. big fountain of cats. Oh, this is the biggest dinosaur here. This is insane. Yeah, absolutely insane. <laughs> the giant dinosaur. Incredible. I think we gotta follow the train track to get to the next part for a little because it's quite overgrown. Yeah, we can try that. Try following this train track right here. Guys, you have no idea the sheer size of this thing. The size of everything they put into this. I mean, I guess they wanted this to be one of the largest music parks. One of the main entrances of the dinosaurs. This dinosaur is, you can literally walk on the knee. I just wonder if there's a security guard that would be in one of those built, like one of those rooms. 
But it doesn't look like it. It looks just like merchandise. Now we're walking on the train track to try to stay more covered. And we see a train as we're, we're coming over here. Wow. I'm just getting more looks at this freaking dinosaur place. First time in Turkey. And we're doing one of the craziest exploits. This is definitely the craziest thing I've ever done. How we got in here was nuts. Waiting around, hearing noises. It's all crazy. And I know I'm saying that a lot, but I mean, I'm just in shock right now. I'm overwhelmed. This is very, very amazing. Best abandoned place I've ever done, hands down. So I ran out of water, guys, because we've been stopping, because it's this place is huge. We've been here for five hours already. Oh, look at this roller coaster. Wow. I mean, I think it's still rough and jagged, but there was not that much to see, I think. Yeah, just a little restaurant. So this is one of these. This is a log ride. I think it's two roller coasters in one, actually. It's actually where the guards would go on a knee. This is a roller coaster in front of us. Well, it looks like there's two in one because. It looks yeah. like the orange goes up and down and, and then, then something moves and you come in the other one and you mm -hmm. get very wet. And it looks like this one actually goes all the way through there and maybe it goes around around the uh, dinosaur place. I think we see like some tiki stuff. Some totem poles. I think this is definitely the, the water slide. This is part of this might be the water park of it. Wait, look at these totem poles. So much detail and color. They're so colorful. Then you can see that roller coaster a little better. I think it's more nerve wracking being out in the open. Yeah. But we are kind of covered up at the same time. Yeah, that's true. But. Actually, the entrance. For the ride. This is where it goes to. It's so tall. Oh my god. How do you even get on it? Like, how do you even get on this roller coaster? Yeah, I mean, you gotta be on the ground. Where else? There's no star point. Yeah, I don't see even the, the cart. Oh, I see now. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then it turns up, it flips up right there, and then it goes straight up. Yeah. There's so many cats. You gotta go underneath this. The next part. I don't know if it was a security guard, just a guard, but was something that in the street. Let's go behind the room now. I cannot even believe the amount of attractions in this park. Probably over 200 rides. It's no joke. Some of them are more little ones. Some of them. Actually, you want to know a fun fact? 
This has the second most roller coasters ever. Wow. <laughs> ride right here. Now this looks like it's all bones. And then you got the ride over there. It looks like one of those swinging rides. They can just swing back and forth that way. There's so much stuff here. And we don't have a lot of battery. So, because a lot of this stuff might be on drone, because we don't have a lot of battery. We've been here for a long time. This place is absolutely huge. Like, this place drain, is draining our batteries because there's so much to see. So I'm gonna catch up with Moreno here. See what else we can find. Our batteries are just draining, bro. Right. So where are we at? So we are exactly at the point where I wanted to go. Okay. Uh, to the food stands. Then we go back where we came from. This to the underworld. So the ride starts inside and goes straight up. So high. We have this ride right here. We can't get close to a lot of them because of security. Like, like guys, we have never, I've never done a place that's so secure like this. Like, I've done some pretty crazy places that are hard to get into. But nothing with this many security guards. We're over in the like little shopping part of it. Look at this roller coaster. That is crazy. Over there, there's even a colorful one. And this is just like shops, stuff like that. I can't believe how big this place is. And Mo's over there. See that ride starts out inside this like cracked up looking building. This is how they made it look. It goes straight up. So there is part of the park that we cannot see because there is security. So you're gonna see everything from the drone. Just some of the buildings we can't go inside of because it would be too risky to go over there. We are in a different country. We don't wanna get, you know. I mean, in you know, Europe, them. normally it's not a big problem. We don't know Turkey uh, too well. This spot and this country might be a different story. The biggest thing is because only the mayor and the president are allowed here. Yeah. So we could get potentially in trouble, but we don't know. You do not want trouble with the president. So we're going to make our way to the Megatron back where we started pretty much. Show you the Megatron and then we're going to get out of here and fly the drone. So we'll see you at the Megatron. So we found a way into this one. We have to be really careful because we smell food when we walked by it. But this one is insane. Look at the roof. Rides, the mushrooms are not connected with each other. Yeah. So that means we can only enter this dome.
This is amazing. Oh, Never thought I'd see this in my life. Cherish even out of leaves. That's so, so special. Never seen anything like that. That's what I mean. If you got to go this part, that's so creative. Which one is looking really, really sketchy. So, we found this other building with these giant robotic cats outside, so we're gonna go inside and see what this one's like. Or this one was crap. This one was never open and still under construction. Yeah, this one looks empty. These giant robots. This is like a. It's like I'm seeing a real transformer for the first yeah, time in my life. I like the transformers. Look at the big billboards out of there too. They must have had some type of lights. Like those will light up uh, billboards. Very close. Let's get back over to our building. Let's pull stuff up. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're gonna make our escape. I thought I might have heard a whistle. I don't know if I did or not, but I'm hoping I didn't. So we're gonna get out of here, and I'll see you guys back at the car. All right, let's go. Let's go. Freedom! 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 Oh, oh my gosh. The end was so tricky. I did not record it because we actually stored our cameras in our bag. But there is a company right next door. And it was like a worker from the company shouting at us because he saw us trying to climb the fence. And he was very angry. <laughs> I can't believe we did it by the like in one of the last seconds being in the actual park you were seen by one of the workers from the factory next door I was and seen trying to hop over the fence actually he might have saw you first I might maybe and then he probably was pretty high he probably was seeing me do it too it was really hard for me because my shoes I saw you know how I lost my luggage and everything well these shoes are not for exploring 
I brought these for mostly the easy places, like yeah, 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 like the resort because and stuff. Because they're comfortable, but not because they're urbex proof. Basically. Yeah. So I have to wear these. So my feet were slipping on the wall the whole time, and this is like probably what a nine foot wall, eight foot wall. Well, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. It's mostly concrete, and then you got these long rods with spikes, and it was just tough. It was really tough. But we made it out. We explored the entire thing. We were there for about eight hours. Oh, bro. Well, I say the entire thing. We saw all that we could without being close to security. So, and the last part was really, really close to security. And I mean, seven hours inside is a good score if you ask me with seven security guards. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, like I said, the largest amusement park, second largest amusement park in the world. The so, largest one in my continent. Yes, yes. It is the largest one in Europe, and it is also the largest abandoned one. So, <laughs> we just conquered one of the best places ever, and it was amazing. So nerve-wracking, but like that's what makes that's what yeah, that's that what makes it like extra rewarding if it finally works out and you succeed because you know the risk and you are aware of the risk. And when you finally make it out and you know you you shot like like proper and solid video material and got to see with your own eyes and experience it there is not a better rewarding feeling in this hobby than yeah. that that's why we do what we do so hope you guys enjoyed the video check out my guy explomo right here and we're gonna finish out this turkey trip together and yeah we just did our main goal coming to turkey and i hope you guys enjoyed the whole video just as much as we enjoyed exploring it so we're gonna get out of here Hope you guys enjoyed and big hit bangs Hit the like out. button to this video. Yes, hit the like Smash button. Smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and big banks out.